Hi, my name is Rex Beanland and welcome to this week's painting demonstration. We're going to be doing a uh, scene with a boat. It's really about the reflections of the boat. And uh, I would like to use a lot of bright colors. So I have cad yellow light, cad orange, cad red light, quinacridone magenta, uh, some permanent green light, a little cobalt blue. If you don't have that, ultramarine would work just fine. And a little phthalo blue. Now I want really bright colors and I'm starting this boat's going to be Quinacridone magenta. I want a really strong wash of this. Lots of pigment. And I'm going to just color the whole thing in. Just going to darken that mixture a little bit. And I'm moving, I want it to be drier, so I'm starting it over here. And I want a few shadows under here. I'm actually going to add, this is a little bit more the sunlit side. Next thing I'm going to do is move up to this bridge. I want a lot of bright colors up here. Just a random assortment. You'll see that the colors I put on now are going to have very little of anything to do, or well, very little to do with the uh, final uh, painting. And now I want to come in with some darker colors. So I want this whole thing to end up really dark. Just added some dioxazine here because I need its darkness. Okay, I'm going to do something now. Um, I'm going to turn the board over like this. I'm going to move this away so you can see it. And I want to lift out a few shapes. I'm going to lift out two shapes taking a thirsty brush. And because the paint is so wet, I'm going to have to do this quite a few times. Okay, I've done that about literally 20 times, squeezing my brush dry so it's a real thirsty brush between each one and doing it. And so I think it's fairly good now. I'm going to leave it. I'll turn this back around. And we will continue. Okay, the next thing I want to do is the reflection of this boat. I'm going to do the reflection of the boat and I want it to be just a reflection is never quite the same as the object it's reflecting so I'm going to uh, just darken this just slightly and and on this side I'm going to get two one inch flats and I want to mix up two colors here. I want two colors. Here I want to have some phthalo blue and on this one I want some green. Lots of pigment. On this side I'm going to have it just come right up and touch it. And then I want this wash then to neutralize. I want this to neutralize, so I'm adding some red to this. So I have to quickly come over here and I want to do the same thing, except I'm going to just try and change my color slightly, adding a bit more cobalt to that. And then I want to switch right away to my green. 
and just want a little bit of stronger green and then have that neutralized green to run off the page. Yeah, I think it's still fairly wet, so what I'm going to do is just bring this green a little bit further into the blue and then do more of this neutralized green at the bottom. I'm going to do this other little boat same way. I just want different colors. So I'll mix up my colors. I want it to be as bright. But taking a little of my red, a little phthalo blue, and just put a little bit under the top. And then on this one, I want the same thing. I'm going to start with the reflection of the boat. I have some thale or cobalt blue this time, more to a yellow up here. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with my cobalt blue, get away to my yellow, and start in the cobalt. And as it gets to the bottom, I want to neutralize that a bit. I'm going to begin with this uh, walkway here. I'm just going to have it as a warm color. This is tinted water. I'm now taking just pure water. So the idea is it's going to fade off and it'll appear as if there's light coming under the bridge. Now I'm going to just go in and add a mixture of light colors down at this end. Now I'm going to just I'm going to tilt my board this way so this will run down. And now this wall behind the boat here is basically a green wall. So we'll take some yellow and some green. So I'm taking some tinted water here, some green tinted water. And I'm going to do this whole thing. And uh, leaving a white curb at the end of that sidewalk. And being careful to leave the white edge of the boat. Little dioxazine, little of the green, little of the red. Why not a little yellow? Okay, and I want this to be there's sort of a shadow under this top thing. Right. I think I need a green that's halfway between that real dark and the light one. And just one more hit of the real dark. So I dried my brush and I'm using pure pigment so I know I'm going to have a very dry wash. And these doorways here are all, I just want them to be bright colors. And I want to start with some yellow. Nice, rich, pure yellow. I'm trying to do as much as possible the first time, so I'm going to neutralize that with some dioxazine and just put a few things along the bottom there. The next one I want to be an orange building. So I get a nice, rich orange. I'll take a little bit of the blue I want the next building to be um, a bright red so I'm taking my cad red light again I'll leave some of that the bottom of this one I'm going to add a little phthalo blue to that and just put in again just things to help define the bottom cobalt blue and I think I'm going to try and get the darkest blue to this side and then lift a little bit up from this side again to emphasize that the lights coming from this way you take a little halo in there just for variety so blue uh, actually I'll take blue complement orange and a little Dioxazine, but I don't want I want it to be the whitest there 
and just a hint of a, a hint of a tint than pure water. The next thing, I want the reflection of this green wall and I just need to make sure it's not identical to the object that is reflected. So I want it to be green and I think I'll go for a bit of a lighter green. Take a little bit of cobalt. So I'm going to just make up a dark green thing. But I'm going to leave a little bit of white between all of these reflections. So I'm going to have the same kind of line in yellow, but leaving a little bit of white. So I want this to be quite bright. Yeah, and I want this to be thalo blue. So I'll mix up, I have to have enough to do the whole thing. And in the middle of it, I'm going to leave this kind of zigzaggy reflection thing for the post. So I'll start over here. I'm going to leave a little bit of the white. I'm going to add a little bit of cobalt. The green in here. I want a uh, neutralized thalo blue and that would cad red is uh, will do that job for me just so that it's neutralized at the bottom 